Hello there. My name is Richard Nash from Pearson Clinical Assessment in the UK and welcome to this short video looking at how to access your purchase QLobal resources via our QLobal platform. Shortly I'll be showing you exactly how to access your resources live on screen and I'll also uh, take you to our website where you can see additional resources available both to purchase and to support your platform use. So first of all let me share my screen and we can look at the QLobal platform. So first of all, you'll be prompted to log in with your username and password. And if you haven't yet created one, that will be something you'll need to do upon first login from your welcome email. Once you've created your login, you'll be taken to this page, which is the QLobal homepage. And from here, you can start to access your paid for resources. To do so, you would click on the resource library screen, section at the top of the screen. And this will take you to the Q Global resource library. Now from here, you'll see a list of products that are available to you based on your qualification level held with us. If you've purchased, for example, a WISC-5 manual on Q Global from us, to access that, you would scroll down and find the WISC-5 UK. And then you would click on the plus symbol next to the particular assessment. That then expands the product and you can see both a general folder and a restricted folder. All of the items that you would purchase such as stimulus books and test manuals will be held in the restricted folder for the majority of our assessments. So therefore you would again expand the restricted folder and it will show any particular item com uh, com compatible with that assessment. So in this case, it's just got the non-motor composite table for the WISC. Um, that's because I haven't yet purchased a WISC-5 stimulus book. However, if I have purchased, for example, a Wyatt stimulus book, I can click on the Wyatt, again, expand, expand the uh, plus symbol next to the restricted folder, and here you can see that I've purchased both an examiner's manual and some stimulus material for the Wyatt 3. What I can then do is click on the particular resource that I want to open. That will then open it on my screen. And you're ready then to use the stimulus material in conjunction with your uh, test instructions and guidance. Now I'm not going to go through the whole stimulus book uh, because that is sensitive and restricted material, but just to touch on how best to use this, once the, the screen is open, uh, you can see here that you can toggle it to be in full screen mode, which is something we do recommend for any uh, assessments you're conducting via telepractice. Uh, to make it full screen, uh, you would use the arrows in the top right hand corner here to press on and then when you're ready to come back to the platform, if you want to, to come out of the full screen mode again, you would press on escape and it will just take you back to that view. If pages need uh, rotating, you're also able to rotate pages using the arrows in the top right hand corner here and the tools. And you can see here, you can rotate pages clockwise and anti-clockwise. And I know there are some items in specific stimulus books where, where you'll need to do that. So again, that's just using the arrows there in the top right hand corner. Okay, let me come out of the stimulus book here and head back to the QLobal platform. Okay, so now we're back at the QLobal platform. I just wanted to touch on one other feature within the platform before we look at some additional support and, and materials available to you. So as you can see, I'm now back at the home page of QInteractive. Um, I just wanted to point out that there is additional support and help for the resource library, as there is with any other page on QGlobal, by using the, the help button here in the top right hand corner. Pressing the help button brings up a new window on your browser, and it will bring up a page that's specific to the section of QGlobal that you were in at the time. So for example, here, I was in the resource library, and it's taken me to the specific help pages for the resource library. So it's a good feature just to bear in mind that you'll be able to, to use this to gain 
dedicated support for the section of the platform that you are in. Um, and there's some quick guides and notes here on how to use uh, everything from how to open stimulus books, as I've just shown you, um, right through to, to the other features that you can find within the resource library too. So please do bear that in mind. And I do hope that's useful for you in uh, using the resource library. Um, so now I just wanted to move on to look at some additional features of the uh, Q Global uh, sort of a wider context around support available, um, both for the platform and more importantly, the assessment process. Uh, I know many of you may be uh, new to the, the term telepractice, which is the, the term we're, we're using for when you're sharing your screen and conducting assessments remotely via screen sharing platforms. And I just really wanted to highlight the support that we've put together um, for that uh, particular process. Uh, so first of all, from our website here, um, you can click on the moving forward section. And from the moving forward section, you'll be able to see a section here specifically on telepractice. So I'll click on that and it will take me straight through to our telepractice pages. Now, given this short recording, I'm not going to go through all of the features for you on this particular webinar. Uh, it's really just to guide you on where to go to find this support. But on the overview tab, you will find links to lots of useful resources, including our no objection letter to permit delivery of our resources electronically using QGlobal. Um, there's also links out to specific product guides to help you overcome challenges when using those assessments and also help you set up those assessments ready for ready for use via telepractice. Um, there's also tips on how to set up um, the technology side of things when you're assessing remotely and there's some good infographic information on, on there. And there's also some information on the uh, telepractice norms and validity of performance based assessments too. Uh, plus a video on the use of facilitators in remote sessions. So I would encourage you, um, if you're new to telepractice or, or even um, just starting out and have administered a couple, just to make sure you, you consult with this page, uh, just to make sure you're, you're doing everything that you need to do to make the assessment as smooth for your clients as it can be. Okay. I'm now going to move back to the Q Global section of our website, finally, just to finish off. And you can access the Q Global section of our site by clicking through to pearsonclinical.co.uk forward slash Q Global. And you'll be taken to this Q Global homepage. Just a couple of things to highlight from here. Uh, firstly, the all available platform content can be found via the pricing tab. Now, the pricing tab contains a very handy Q Global product matrix, um, which if you click on that tab, will show you by test name every assessment that's currently available on Q Global, um, together with the digital assets that are available in terms of manuals and, and stimulus books, um, as well as the scoring options, if, if applicable to your chosen assessment. The way to use this matrix is to first identify the, if the assessment you're looking for is on the platform. Um, so for example, the BAI here, the Beck Anxiety Inventory, you can see this is listed. So this is on Q Global. Uh, you can see that reporting is also available on Q Global uh, and that's for all delivery options. Uh, even if you've administered the assessment in paper, you'll still be able to use Q Global to score it. Um, and you can also administer it on screen and send remotely via secure email to your client to complete on their screen. So you've got here all three delivery options available. And plus you have the BAI digital manual that you can purchase to add to your Q Global resource library. Moving along to the right hand side columns, you can see our Pearson qualification level and also the type of report output that you're able to generate from the platform. Again, in this case, it's a CL2 product and a PDF report available. Just to use the WISC-5 again as another example, just scrolling down the page, you'll see that with the WISC-5, um, the only option for scoring is via a manual entry, 
which means you'll uh, enter the data from your record form into the platform uh, to be able to then score the data. Now, the on-screen and remote on-screen options are not available uh, for the WISC-5. And that's because you can't use the platform to actually remotely administer the assessment. Um, however, as we've shown, it is available to share your screen and share the stimulus via a teleconferencing platform such as Zoom or such as Microsoft Teams. Um, and you would do that in conjunction with the paper record forms. And then you can still enter the data into the platform and use either a subscription or pay-as-you-go credits to then score that data. So that's why this column is completed and these two columns are not. Moving along, you can see again that the assets available include the technical manual, the admin manual, and both stimulus books um, as PDF copies accessible via QGlobal. Uh, the qualification code is our highest, CL1, and you can get both Word and PDF reports of, uh, for the WISC-5. So I hope that makes uh, makes it clear how to use this matrix. And as I say, there's um, every test assess and assessment that's available from us via QGlobal is listed on here. So do please uh, have a look and, and see if your chosen assessment is there. The final thing I'll show you is to um, access prices. You can click through from this page uh, to your chosen assessment by clicking on the, the name there. And it will take you back to the relevant product page on our website where you can scroll down and find the price list uh, menu. Now the price list menu will have selection of drop downs. Uh, you would click on the Q Global web based administration scoring and reporting drop down there. And it will expand everything that's available for the WISC 5 in this case, uh, together with the prices and also the opportunity to, to purchase by entering your quantity there and adding it to your shopping basket. Or if you're part of an NHS trust or local authority, you can take the relevant details from here and add that to your purchase order ready to send to our team. Also on the product pages, you will see the specific telepractice advice and guidance for your chosen product. Um, and it's linked from that product page in the section at the top called telepractice and WISC-5 in this case, or whichever assessment you're choosing to use. And again, you can scroll through the information there that's specific to your assessment and uh, learn how to administer that assessment in the uh, telehealth, teleconferencing platform method. Okay, uh, that probably brings us to the end of this short instruction video. I do hope you find it useful. Uh, just to note that a lot of the information I've covered is also available via your Q Global welcome email, where you first click through to sign up with your username and password. I would encourage you to revisit that welcome email because it also links out to uh, support documents and guidance, as well as an opportunity to book a 20 minute slot with a customer success consultant who will run through the platform, platform on screen with you live and answer any questions you have. And the opportunity to book your slot is uh, accessible via that welcome email. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this short video and I do wish you the best of luck with Q Global and assessment using the platform. Thanks very much. Goodbye.